off at center. And the puck is dropped. Back to Sean Feld. Sean Feld hooked. Couldn't get the puck over the line. It slapped into the Soviet zone. Starikov around the boards. Lead pass now for Petrov. Petrov dumps it in. Sean Feld broke that up. Slapped in behind the net. McKegley. There's a shot and it goes wide. Moving into the corner. Harlamov back hands it. Intercepted by McKegney. Can't get it out now. It's brought out by Smith. Up to Danny Garris shot. And that goes over the top of the net. Harlamov couldn't control the puck. It goes to Derek Smith. Into the corner. McKegney right in front. And it's Babinoff of the Soviet Union. Up on the right side goes Mihailov. Tried to get it in. But Harlamov was offside. Well, it looks like Buffalo have really come out here starting to hit. We had the first uh, hit of the game by Korab, really taking Petrov in hard against the board. Schoenfeld throwing his way around, Smith throwing his way around. It looks like they're going to be physical here early in this hockey game. And we played 48 seconds. Ready now, out there for Buffalo, number 20 is Don Luce. It's cleared back to Richard Dunn. Slaps it off the boards, up on the right side to John Gould. It goes into the Soviet zone. Zlutov, number 22, couldn't control it. Here's Craig Ramsey right in front. And John Gould got a shot that was stopped by Tretiak. Back to Gould. And it's intercepted and cleared out. Back come the Soviets. Moving in is Makarov. Right in front of the net, but he couldn't get the pass. Height knocks him against the boards. After it is Gould. He stopped. Luchenko moves up, but he couldn't get the puck. Kazadinov. Right on the stick of number 17, Gould. It's over the line. Here's Gould getting set. And Ramsey couldn't control that pass. Now the Soviets bring it right back out again. On the right side is Makarov. Makarov moving in, getting set for a shot. And Balderas was tied up and couldn't reach the pass. Puck is loose in the Buffalo zone. John Gould goes after it. It's slapped outside the line. Here's a play for Richard Martin. And he couldn't get a shot away. John Feld has it at center. Up on the right side for Carroll. Over to ceiling, but it's offside. Live from Buffalo, this is Super Series 80 on Seatsley, chatting with the backup coach, Jim Roberts, the assistant. Well, this is something new that Buffalo's been trying all year, and I talked to Roger before the game, and they like it a great deal. They think it makes a big difference to their hockey team. There's a shot by Korab that's deflected wide. In behind the Soviet net, there's no score here in the opening period. Now the Soviets bring it out. Coming out is Petrov, and he was stopped. Over the line it goes. With 17.37 remaining in the opening period. You know, just talking about that headset, uh, Roger was actually saying, why did they do that? And so on, they're asking him on the bench to get the, the, the uh, play from up above to tell him what was really happening on certain plays. Colbert Perrault against Colvin. Colvin is number 25 for the Soviets. Puck comes out to center, slapped along the boards, and it's now Richard Dunn. Clearing it into the Soviet zone. Kretschak leaves it there. Kamaya. And that almost backfired. It's cleared out to center. Skvortsev. Back to the Buffalo line. Was stopped there. It goes over to Kamaya. He slaps it off the boards, and the Soviets have it again. And then Gilbert Perrault takes it. Perrault, watched by Colvin. It's a lead pass ahead for Sealing. He just lost control of it, and it's shot into the Buffalo corner. Bill Height, number 24, ahead to ceiling. Just deflected it outside the blue line, and it's back to the Soviet line, Babinov. Babinov sent that pass, no one there, and it's Height in his own zone for Buffalo. Height up on the right side to ceiling. Richard Martin comes after it, takes it back inside his own zone, watched by Drozdetsky. Helping out for Buffalo is Victor Dunn. Here's Dunn to the Soviet line, then lost the puck. Dudley collided with Lobanov and knocked him to the ice. Drozdetsky into the corner after the puck. A slap away for possession. Van Foxmere pinning it there. And we get a whistle. Grand Army defeating the Rangers 5-2. The Islanders 3-2, and then they lost to the Montreal Canadiens 4-2. No score here. In goal for 
Buffalo is Don Edwards, and the faceoff will be to his right. Andre Savard for Buffalo will take this faceoff. Alexander Lobanov, number 10 for the Soviet Union. Back his drop goes to Sean Feld, dropped it back to Jerry Korat. Around the board, Dudley tries to get it, and it's backhanded to the other side now in front of Van Boxmere. Tried to get that pass ahead to Andre Savard, and it's brought back by Volstad, and he's knocked to the ice. This is Dudley. Dudley for Buffalo. Up on the left side, intended for Savard, and that was broken up. John Feld moves up for Buffalo. Gives it to Dudley. He shoots right on goal, and Tretiak stopped it. Now it's Starikov. Got the puck outside the line. Korab brings it back for Buffalo. Stopped by Starikov. And Valerie Halimov. Back to Babinov. Babinov, number four, brings it out for the Soviets. Off the boards into the Buffalo zone. In there quickly for it is Mihailov right in front to Harlamov. And he passed it to the Buffalo player. And it's outside the center ice. Dudley slapped away at it. Korab goes after it. And it's taken by Starikov. Up on the left side for Petrov. He lost it. Sean fell. It's backhanded out. Here's a chance for Smith. Smith over the Soviet line, but he was all tied up by Petrov. Bill Height at his own blue line. Slapped it ahead to Danny Gare, but Babinov, number four for the Soviets. Round the boards. McKegney had trouble with it. Now he bumps, knocks Babinov off stride. Puck goes to the other side. This is Gare. Gare slaps it into the corner. Smith went after the Soviet player. It's shot down the ice. And Height, number 24, races in. And it's icing against the Soviet Union. With the score, Buffalo nothing. The Soviet Red Army nothing. Super Series 80 pauses in a moment. 14 minutes and 37 seconds remain in the opening period. There's no score. Victor's looped off at center for the Soviets. There's a shot. Right on goal taken by John Gould and Tretiak. Stop that. Now it's a chance for Ramsey. Ramsey, number 10, passes it over to Dunn. There's a shot. And hit his own player, Gould, in front. And the Soviets bring it right back. Balderas lost control of it. Helping out his looped off. His looped off. Kazanotnov gets it into the corner. After it is height. Height is checked. Balderas clears it in front. That drive taken by Zluktov was wide. Stopped there by the Soviet player. Goes to the other side. Luchenko then slaps at it. Height back into his own zone. Passes it around the boards to Richard Dunn. Dunn just clears it down the ice into the Soviet zone. And Luchenko goes back. Icing is waved off. Zadanov gets it out to center. Now here's a chance for the Soviets going in. Makarov couldn't get a shot. Balderas collided with Van Foxmere. Comes back to Zluktov and his shot whistled wide. The Soviets keep it in. Volchenko tried to get it to Balderas. That shot taken by Zluktov goes wide. Makarov shot and that's gloved by Don Edwards. No score in the opening period. Here comes Schoenfeld. Clears the puck to center. Stopped there by Gamaya. Buck bounces around, goes to Makarov. Number 24, Skvortsev cleared it up on the left side. Gets the pass. Here's Skvortsev getting set. Hit shot is blocked by Schoenfeld. Stopped at the line by Gamaya. Into the corner. Van Foxmere clears it out. Here's Gilbert Perro. Perro coming up for Buffalo over to Mark. His shot. And it missed the net. And Boxmere's drive, and that goes wide. And the Soviets bring it right back. Sportsev to the Buffalo line. He's hammered there against the board. Barnikov sends it in. Ovin backhanded it right to the Buffalo player. Gilbert Perro sends it back to Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld off the boards to ceiling. He's tied up there by Gamaya. Right in front. That shot by Barnikov, and Edwards stopped that. And here's Martin going in. Martin can't get a shot. Back hands it in front. And the Soviets bring it right back. Volchenkov comes out. Tried to get the pass over to Colvin. He lost control of it. And it slapped out to center ice. Volchenkov. 
Soviets having trouble with it. Volchkov will try now. Passes to Drozdetsky. Drozdetsky, number 11, backhands it in. Up to number 14, Starikov up over the line. And it's taken by Playfair. Here comes Playfair for Buffalo to Danny Gare. Gare shot. He's Shot. That shot handcuffed Trechak coming from the side and Danny Gare. Here we see Danny Gare breaking it on the side, being chased by the Soviet forward from quite a bad angle and a long way out. Trechak sprawling, the puck beat him on the wide side. Now the Soviets come right back. Grozdesky got to the Sabres line, was stopped there. Starikov had trouble with it. Now he paces it back into his own corner. Starikov to Babinov, number four. Dudley went up with Trechak. It's outside the Soviet line, brought to center. Volchkov fires it in. Number 22 for Buffalo is rough. Pass goes to Gare. He couldn't control it. Savard got it outside the line, and now it's back to Babinov. Fired in by Volchkov. Why? Rough, number 22. Now it comes out to Dudley. Here's Dudley for Buffalo. Going over the line with Gare, but lost possession of the puck, and coming right back is Lobanov, a shot the stick of Bill Height. Now as they go end to end the game, Danny Gare couldn't handle that pass. Brought in by Starikov. Here's a catch for Lobanov. Getting set and Edwards. Great save by Edwards on Lobanov. Into the corner. The and Edwards again made a big save. McKegney left the puck for Playfair. Cleared outside the line and it's back to the Soviet line to Starikov. McKegney at center for Buffalo. Backhands and he was stopped by Starikov. Arlamov just missed the check there. McKegney fires it into the Soviet zone. Brought right back out by Starikov. Cleared over now to Dunn. Dunn, lead pass off the skate of Smith into the Soviet zone. Vladimir Lutenko. Out to Petrov. Here's Petrov. Up to the Buffalo line. Drops it back. That attempted shot by Mikhailov. And his stick was lifted before he could get a drive. Now the Sabres get it out. There's a chance now for Gould. Gould going in. A pass in front. And that just failed to click. As the Soviets Harlamov comes right back. Here's Harlamov. A shot. Oh, and that missed by about three feet. Slap to the line, but not out. Now the Sabres get it out, but Petrov comes back in. Korab steals it from him. Over to Dunn. And Dunn finds a spot and just shoots it down into the Soviet zone. Back for it. Gabayev. Got the pass ahead to Makarov. Buffalo Sabres enjoying a 1-0 lead. Gabayev shoots it into the Buffalo zone. A race there. Ball Darris got there ahead of Ramsey. Now Ramsey takes the loose puck as Korab ran into the Soviet player in behind the back of the net. And now Makarov goes back and he's checked against the boards. Ramsey. Gamayev moves up. Carroll bumps with him. And it's cleared out to center ice. Volchenkov. Over to an open wing. Schoenfeld reaches and just shoots it down the ice. Eight minutes and 21 seconds remaining in the opening period. That pass goes to Balderas. Balderas into the corner, drops it back, and Gilbert Perot brings it up. Here's Perot going in with Lose. And Kretjak stopped that. Balderas at center. Passed it right onto the stick of Savard. Savard ahead to Richard Martin offside. From Memorial Auditorium, the Central Red Army and the Sabres in Game 3 of Super Series 80. Hope you're enjoying the telecast across the full network. Here's Here we have back. another shot at the goal there. Just a bad angle. Danny Gare breaking in. Trechak sprawling. There was no reason really to sprawl in that shot. Bad angle. He could have played it with a stick or a skates, but he decided to sprawl and beat him on the wide side. Danny Gare from Playfair and Dudley at 11.35. The only goal of the game. Seven minutes and 51 seconds left 
in the opening period. Well, the game in Montreal certainly had all the emotion, but this game, they've been going end to end. There was only two stoppages of play from the 14-minute mark to 7.51 here, and they've been going end to end. Great goaltending at one end by Edwards, and the, play the players are really moving that puck around well here. I'm really amazed at the pace of the game. And it's back into the Buffalo zone. This is Ruff slapping it off. Get to the head and it's Got a piece of that and deflected it wide. Slap, but not up. Kept in. Richard Martin in front, but he couldn't get a shot. And the Soviets shoot it down. Covine takes a bump. Savard clears it ahead. Brought out by Ruff. Ruff to the Soviet line. Shoots it in behind the net. Martin goes after it. Bumped against the boards by Covine. Sealing tried to get it, and the Soviets come right back again. Up over the line. Barnikov in front. Sports at the top. And Edwards stopped that. Now it's Andre Savard, and he shoots it down the ice into the Soviet zone. And back for it, Kazadinov. And it's icing against Buffalo. Well, the Soviets, according to the board, have only had four shots on goal. But of those four shots, I would have to say that three were cold turkey right there. Soviet player broke into the opening, really tested Edwards. A point black shot before. We're going to get another look at it. But here we have coming wide, a little crisscross pattern, cutting right in in front of the net. Edwards coming out, going over top of him, trying to jam it in the far side. But of those four shots, I'd have to say that three were very good opportunities. And from the draw, the puck goes to Jim Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld, number six, right up the middle for Van Boxmere. Over to Dudley to Gilbert Carroll, going in offside. Offside pass. As it originated from the Sabre side of center ice and Carroll, grabbing it inside the Soviet line. Carroll shares the scoring lead. On the Sabres with Danny Gare, each with 48 points this season. Six and a half minutes remaining in the opening period. It's 1-0 for Buffalo. This is Playfair. Ahead to Dudley. Van Foxmere shoots it into the Soviet zone. Goes in after the puck. Bumped by Luchenko. Gilbert Perrault. Perrault, number 11, in front for Dudley. And that just failed to reach him. Dudley goes after the puck. Brought out by Drozdetsky. Drozdetsky, number 11, on the right side. Moving in front, can't get a shot as Paro hooked him. Dunn falls and the puck is underneath him with 6.02 left. Well, it's fair. From Memorial Auditorium, the Red Army and the Sabres in Game 3 of Super Series 80. Soviets have their big line out there. Harlamov, Petrov, and Mihailov. Mihailov wearing number seven. Getting set for the faceoff for Buffalo is Derek Smith, along with Gare and McKegney. Buck clear down into the Soviet zone, a race for it. This is Volchenkov. Touches it, and it's icing against Buffalo. And it comes right back into the Sabre zone to the right of goaltender Don Edwards. Derek Smith, number 19, will take the face off again against Petrov, number 16 for the Soviets. Two linesmen are Koharski and Finn from the NHL. It's a Soviet referee. Back to the line. Volchenkov's shot is blocked in front. Here comes yes, Gare. Gare gets it out to Schoenfeld. Back to Gare. His shot. And Pretiak makes a stick save on that drive. Slapped off the boards by Volchenko. Can't get it outside the line. Korab shot, deflected high. Up over the glass and out of play. 27-year-old Trechak, who has been in all the games in this Super Series 80. And he probably will play all the games. They don't like to change the goaltenders a uh, great deal, especially when Trechak is the goaltender and the player in the tournament in his vesti in the Soviet Union. He played in all the games except one Michigan played in that game. Buck comes back now to Sean Feld at center. Tried to get it ahead to McKegney. He was stopped. They pin it against the boards. Number 13 for the Soviets, Volchenko. Red Army have won the national championship of the Soviet Union a total of 22 times. And they're in first place now in the Soviet 
Major League, Moscow Dynamo are second. Here's a lead pass for Harlemov. In after it, Korab watching him, takes him out of the play. The puck comes back to Volchenkov, couldn't get a good shot on goal. And the Sabres, McKegney, up to Smith, going in with Gare. Gare just couldn't control that pass. And the Soviets shoot it right down the ice. Sean fell. Icing against Central Soviet Red Army. Boy, the pace is really something, Tom. Yes, well, there we get a look at Coach Tikhonov. And, uh, of course, if you watch his hands, just watch if you see his hand, he keeps a stopwatch in his hand the whole time he's there. Here he's uh, gesticulating here and moving the hands around. But in that one hand, he's got a stopwatch, and he times the shifts. There you see it just in his hand. He makes sure that the players aren't out there too long. There's the puck back to Dunn. A shot. Jack made the save on that long shot from Dunn. Balderas, number 19 at his own line, lost control of it, gets it back, but passed it right to the Buffalo player, going in is Gould, Gould trying to get it in front, and the Soviets bring it right back, Balderas, Balderas moving in with Makarov, getting set in front, a shot, and that deflected just wide of goaltender Edwards, and the Sabres have it again, up on the right side goes Gould, drops it back for loose, and it's offside, with the score, Buffalo one. The Soviets nothing. Super Series 80 pauses for a moment. Underway, this is Makarov getting the puck in front. He's knocked off stride. It comes to Babinov. Back to the line. Starikov shot. And the Soviets have it. Babinov. Babinov into the corner to Makarov. And he's hammered against the boards. And Don Luce has it. Luce trying to get it out. Helped here by Height. Height behind his own net to Richard Dunn. Back to Height. Put it right onto the stick now of Zluktov, and he takes it back to the line. Cleared, knocked out, and number 22 for the Soviets, Viktor Zluktov. Back to Babinov. Three minutes, 38 seconds remain in the opening period. Here's Dunn going after it, along with Colvin, and it's icing against the Soviets again. Danny Gare has scored the only goal of the game. 3.35 left to play in the opening period. Colvin, number 25, at center. Getting into position, he'll take this face off against Gilbert Perro. Backhanded up over the glass and out of play. Colvin knocked that before it hit the ice. Well, Colvin saying, saying that Perot touched it, knocked out. He wants the face off outside the line here. He's complaining, but it certainly he was the one that got his stick on it. But he wants it outside the line. Oh, here he is again. Well, the linesman Ron Finn skates right back to the blue line, and now Colvin gets into position. Perot has a word with Sealing. Sealing goes into the corner after the puck. Bumped by Luchenko. Still has it. Trying to get it in front. Loose puck. And Kretschak covers up. As Perot was all tied up in front of the net. Well, Sealing might have had enough room to come right around the, the net at this point here. Because that's one thing the Soviets tend to do. Now, here we see the puck along the backboards. Controlling it. Walking right around. He's got enough room to come out maybe a little further there before he got that shot. We see Kretschak jumping on the rebound. Dunn comes out on defense now, replacing Korab for Buffalo. Playfair, the other defenseman. Right from the draw, the puck goes to Sportsap, gets it out. Sportsap on left wing. Going in with Colvin. Into the side, Colvin is hooked. That will be a Buffalo penalty. As Colvin was hauled to the ice by Richard Martin from Memorial Auditorium. The Red Army and the Buffalo Sabres. the penalty box, Martin of Buffalo for hooking. Well, here we see the crossing uh, Soviet forwards. Martin trying to get a stick around in front of him, bringing him down into the penalty, first penalty of the hockey game to Richard Martin. Sabres leading one to nothing. They clear the puck into the Soviet zone. Gamayev, number five, gives it to Petrov. Petrov, number 16. Soviets on the power play. Gets it back to Babinov. Babinov shoots it in. This is Richard Dunn shoots it down the ice as it got by Harlemar. 131 remaining in the penalty. Yamaya coming up with Babinov, Petrov, Mihailov. 
Up to the line, brings it in, Gamaya. Passed in front. Here comes Loose. Loose for Buffalo. Going in, a shot. in the National Hockey League. We saw Luce just intercept that pass. Gamayev got over the line, tried to throw it across. Here we see Luce breaking. And again, Trenchak doesn't look all that great. Babinov giving him some room. The backhand shot. Sometimes those backhand shots handcuff those goalies. They're not sure where it's going. Here we have another look at it. He's got some room. Babinov backing up. Babinov hitting Luce after the shot. Backhand just catching the far side again on Trenchak. Don Luce makes it 2 to nothing. The Soviets. Makarov brings it out. A minute five remaining in the Buffalo penalty to Richard Martin. This is Baldera. Stops in the corner. Gets it back to Makarov. Makarov is Adonov getting set. He fires it over to Luchenko. It bounced off his stick and the puck is shot wide. Soviets on the power play. Is Adonov to Makarov. Makarov number 15 into the corner to Baldera. A shot. It shot down the ice. 37 seconds remaining in the Buffalo penalty to Martin. Give this is Slutov coming out. Slutov. And there's a cross checking penalty coming up, and the Sabres are really upset. Jerry Korab. Eight seconds left in his penalty, and Korab goes off for cross checking. Well, here we have uh, just off the side of the net, we see Balderas and the play loose, making a good play coming back to take Zhukov in front of the net. There we have the cross check, knocked him down after trying to jam it in the far side. One minute and 51 seconds left in the opening period. The Sabres are two men short. Well, an interesting point here is that uh, the official has let a lot go up to this point, then all of a sudden, a lot of penalties in a short space of time, but he put the whistle in his pocket early in the hockey game. Ramsey, number 10, steals the puck. And Ramsey was stopped there by Victor Zlutov, and the Soviets come out again, Kazadinov. Up on the left side, Balderas gets it back. Babinov, number four, and he lost it. And the Soviets forced to come back on side. Sabres, two men short. 15 seconds left in Martin's penalty. Makarov, number 15, passes it over. Kazadinov, back to Babinov. Back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov into the corner. There's a shot. The save off Zlutov. Features and here's Ron. First intermission, we'll be looking back almost four years to the Soviet Wings Buffalo Sabres, January 4th, 1976. Danny Gare will be joining us, and we'll have a report from Winnipeg on last night's game between the Jets and the Moscow Dynamo. One minute and 15 seconds left in the opening period. There are two seconds left in Richard Martin's penalty, a minute 24 left in the penalty to Korab. Face off in the Buffalo zone to the right of Edwards. What a job Ramsey's done keep killing penalties in this game. Zlukov gets it back to Kazanov. Martin's back on the ice. Zlukov shot, and it goes wide. Makarov back to Babinov. Over to Kazanov. Kazanov had a shot knocked down in front. And it's knocked with a high stick. And the faceoff will come outside the line. A right back into the Soviet zone. Well, a good call by the official. Here we see Balderas coming out, but Schlichtoff did hit it with a high stick. And when you hit it with the high stick, preventing it from going out, when you have the man advantage, it comes all the way back into your own zone. Here's the shot coming through, and that's not really on the net. He's trying to get it through just off the edge of the net for the little tip in. We just see off the side of the net there, Schlichtoff hitting the puck with the high stick. Face off coming all the way back into the Soviet end. Don Luce against Vladimir Petrov. Petrov in his 13th season with the Soviet Red Army. Back to the line. Sean Fell shot. And 
Kretschak had to be quick on that drive as it was deflected right in front of his net. We're into the final minute of the opening period. This is Babinov for the Soviet Union. Gets it over to Starikov. Deflected right to goalie Don Edwards. Schoenfeld off the glass. Can't get it out. Babinov moves up the flames. He clears it out. Loose goes after it. But Starikov got there first. Starikov behind his own net. 27 seconds left in the opening period. Bucks loose at center. Alamov cleared it to an open wing. Loose is there and shoots it down the ice. 21 seconds left in the penalty to Korab. 10 seconds left in the period. The Sabres lead 2-0. Capacity crowd here at Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo. It's only score at the end of the first period. Buffalo 2, the Soviets nothing. Live from Buffalo, Super Series 80. Game. Incredible because of the way the scoring went in the game. It was just a shootout as it turned out. The Sabres outshot the Wings by a score of, uh, by a 46 to 21 margin. And that was just the beginning. Uh, the Sabres opened the scoring at 6-10. Gabe Ramon scoring, then Perrault, and then Martin. And it was 3 to nothing with three goals in the span of five minutes of playing time. The Sabres had a great power play going in this game. They had six power play chances in the game. They scored five power play goals. Look at that move. This is the way it went as they moved the puck around tremendously all night long. Richard Martin scored two goals in the game. Here you see Martin cutting across in front of the goal mouth and putting it in for one of those two. Stanfield assisting on that one. Repniev, that was the third goal for the Sabres. Repniev then scored for the wings from Shalomov and Yakushev. A lot of the names, of course, no longer around Soviet hockey. Times do change. There's the goal by the Soviets. Their first in the game that made the score three to one. And then Richard Martin scored an unassisted goal. Final score in the game, Buffalo 12, the Soviet wing 6, as you see it. Here's Martin stealing the puck in front, cutting across in front, getting set, and then finding the top corner. And the Sabres were on the board again, making it 4-1, to one, still in the first period. That came at the 14-23 mark. Kapustin here from Kotov. The end of the first period in which the Sabres outshot the wing 17-9. The Sabres held a 4-2 lead. And here's the goal coming up. Kapustin getting it to the side of the net and putting it in. Sabres used two goaltenders in the... And on and on it went. Final score. Coming off their losses to the Canadian Olympic team last week, the Soviets were raked over the coals by Boris Myrov, the president of the USSR Ice Hockey Federation, and they responded immediately. Vladimir Semenov giving them a 1-0 lead in the first period. Please. They then added three more unanswered goals in the second. Yuri Lebedev beats Jet Deathfinder Lindsay Middlebrook to make it 2 0. Three Soviet national team members combined for their third goal. Vladimir Golikov and Vasily Pervukin setting it up. Alexander Maltsev tipping it in from in front. Yara Mel replaced Middlebrook in the Jets' goal, but the story didn't change. Winger Peter Perodin set up three straight goals. The first by Alexei Falikov on a two on one break. The first shot hits the goalpost. The second leaves the Jets' goaltender helpless. Then, midway through the third period, Kurodin and Mikhail Slipchenko pass across the front to Vladimir Golubovich, and it was 5-0 for Dynamo. Three minutes later, Perodin set up Deviatov to make it 6 to nothing, and the 15,000 fans started booing the disorganized Jets and cheering for the Soviets. Finally, Maltsev sets up Vladimir Golikov as Dynamo beats the NHL's most easily shutout team, 7-0, out shooting the Jets 41-18. Peter Perodin was chosen the Soviet star of the game. Lindsay Middlebrook voted that honor for the Jets. This is Peter Young reporting. Uh, I didn't uh, realize that there was any need here we, we have the start of the play moving out of the Buffalo zone we have the long pass here we have gear getting it looks quite innocent here's the Soviet uh, winger on the inside the defenseman backing up bad angle bad side now why why is Trechak down at this point I mean uh, there was no reason to sprawl he could have played the puck with escape uh, but it was in now here we have 
uh, on the, the penalty. We see the Soviet power play. We see Balderas at the side of the net. And watch Luce here killing the penalty. You see him taking Zhuktov in front of the net. But there we have the cross-checking of Korab in front of the net. And it, pay, it made the Buffalo team too short to be able to jump in and intercept it. Here we have him. He's already intercepted the, uh, the pass. He's moving in over the blue line. A backhand just in front of Babinov. And again, the far corner. And we see Trechak sprawling again. Really no reason uh, to, to do it. Now here we have uh, the first penalty, really, when Richard Martin pulled uh, the Soviet man down. That was the first penalty of the hockey game. And two shots beat him. Gare and Luce have scored the goals. The second period is underway. The Soviets bring it right back in. Mikhailov trying to get the pass over to Petrov, and the Sabres break that up as Korab returns to the ice, and the Sabres are back at full strength. This is Petrov over to Harlamov. Harlamov puts on the brakes, a shot, and it goes wide of goaltender Edwards. Brought out now by the Sabres, just slapped off the boards and cleared to center ice. Harlamov going back in with Mikhailov. Harlamov in front, rolled the puck, and it's intercepted by Danny Gare. Gare, the Sabres captain, up on the left side. McKegney going in, a shot, and Kretjak stopped that, and McKegney is hammered against the boards by Babinov. Great scoring opportunity there. McKegney set up perfectly, but Tretiak moved out, cut down the angle, and made the save. Face off will be to the right of Tretiak. And the Sabres use this opportunity to change. Loose comes out now with Ramsey and John Gould. Korab and Schoenfeld are on defense. Comes right back now to Schoenfeld, and it got away from him. Cleared into the Soviet zone. Luchenko, number three, bumped against the boards by John Gould. Cleared to the line. Korab shoots it right back into the corner. Kazadinov, number 21, for the Soviets, lost it. Here's a chance for Gould. Tried to get it in front, then decided to send it the other way. And it's shot down the ice, stopped there by Jim Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld backhands it into the Soviet zone. Kazadinov backhands it, but not up. Stopped by Ramsey. Into the corner to Luce. And Luce is tied up by Kazadinov. Gets the puck again. Kazadinov goes after him. Ramsey in front. Slapped at it, and Zluktov brings it out for the Central Red Army. Up on that right side, Makarov. He drops it over to Bolchenkov. A scrolling puck just goes by Edwards. Ramsey couldn't handle the pass. Kazadinov put it right onto the stick of Gould. Gould gets it up the middle. Ramsey knocked against the boards. Loose goes after the puck, but there first is Kovin. Kovin coming out for the Soviets. A pass to Barnikov. Barnikov, who had two goals in the game against the Rangers, shot it into the corner. The Soviet player slips and falls. Here comes Sealing. Sealing brings it out now, going in with Richard Martin. Sealing's backhander is stopped by Tretjak, and it's caught in the meshing, and we get a whistle. That's the second time that Trechak seems to have had a little trouble with the backhand of the player breaking in around the side of ceiling. Broke in behind, and it seemed like two Soviet defenders took the first man. He broke in behind. The backhand seemed to handcuff Trechak for a moment, and then went to the back of the mesh. Ready now, Gilbert Perrault against Vladimir Kovin. Volchenkov is chased out of the face-off circle. Here's Martin's backhander goes wide. Perrault in front. The Soviet player Gamayev was draped all over in front and no penalty. Perro shoots it into the corner. Kovin bumped by Martin and it's held there long enough to get a whistle from the Soviet referee Kirandian. Well there we see Richard Martin. He's taking a look over at the Soviet official. He can't believe it on the first one because he was just dumped and pulled right down and then he took a run at the Soviet player in the corner. He, his stick was a little high, but I, I guess he figured the Soviet official was going to forget about both of them and not call anything. And that was the way the first period started, that he didn't call anything. He let a lot of things go early in the period. Buck is dropped. Here's Martin going after it. Just lost it before he could get a shot. Goes over to Sealing. Sealing in the corner. Gets it back to Korab. He was checked by Volchka. Martin. Passes back to Jim Schoenfeld. The Sabres lead 2-0. Up on the left side goes Perro. And Babinov takes the puck from him. In 
in behind his own net to Starikov. Starikov, a pass. Perot knocked that down. Here comes Martin going in with Sealing. Sealing back to Martin. A shot. And it goes wide. And the Soviets bring it right back. Volchkov at center. Volchkov to the Buffalo line. He stopped there. And Starikov, number 14, shoots it. Stopped at the line. Got out by Sealing. Sealing for Buffalo. Going in with Martin and Perot. Perot in the corner. Lost it to Babinov. Babinov. For the Soviets. And they just shoot it down the ice. Korab. And Lobanov going after it. That's at the side of the net. Volchkov right in front. Oh, what a by Edwards. As Drozdetsky was set up right in front. Well, here we get another look at it, but Edwards is really upset, and so is Korab there, because they feel there they're going to talk the linesman that what happened there, what, it was, should have been an icing call, and everybody stopped a little bit. When the puck came right out in front of the net, the shot came away. Edwards really uh, was alert on it, but he thought it was going to be an icing call, as did Korab. 16 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second period. Petrov gets it back to Harlamov, back to the line, a shot. That's stopped by Edwards. Harlamov chases it into the corner. Here's Harlamov dropping it back to Lutenko. Lutenko's shot. Edwards makes the save. And Danny Gare shoots it down the ice into the Soviet zone. Here's McKegney going after it. Krechiak out of the net to Lutenko. Stolen by Gare. A shot. McKegney on the rebound. And Krechiak covers up in front. 2 nothing Buffalo. Live from Buffalo, this is Super Series 80 on CTV. Well, here we have Gare just heading the opportunity, and uh, McKegney just, uh, here's the original shot coming from Gare, and the puck comes right out, and McKegney just didn't get all the wood on it that he wanted to. Trechak sprawling uh, stops the shot, but the original shot came on the side from Gare. Very dangerous again. And the face-off, Derek Smith against Petrov. Buck slapped over to Harlamov. He couldn't reach it, though. Luchenko to Kazadinov. Up the middle to Petrov. Petrov to Harlamov. Harlamov on that left wing gets a shot, but it misses the target. Petrov in the corner. Drops it right in front, and the Sabres break that up. McKegney trying to get it back to Danny Garrett center. Derek Smith knocks it back to the Soviet line. Kazadinov got it over to Mikhailov. Stolen by Gare and shot into the Soviet zone. Kazadinov bumped against the boards. McKegney in front. Here's John Gould, and he backhands it into the corner. McKegney rolls it in front. Gould and Trechak goes up in the air and grabs it with Petrov in front of the net. Well, that looked like a jump ball here. We just we just started the, the tip-off, didn't we, there? But Trechak was up to kill the, kill the puck because it could have dropped uh, quite dangerously down behind him, but he was up first with his glove to get the face off. Both teams are at full strength. They played four minutes and 46 seconds here in the second period. Balderas slaps the puck out to center. Height, number 24, goes after it. Checked by Balderas, and it's brought right back in by Volchenko. He shoots it into the Buffalo zone. Around the boards to John Gould. Gould is bumped by Gamayev. Now trying on the other side for Buffalo is Ramsey. Pass to right in front. Here comes Gould. Duell gets it out. Taylor player loose is knocked down as he was checked by Zlutov. Makarov. Bumped by Height. Puck rolls into the corner. Duell. Balderas knocks against him along with Height. And we get a whistle. Two first period goals by Buffalo. One by Danny Gare. He's been hot of late. Six goals in his last three NHL games. He has 26 goals for the Sabres this year. Well, there we see the first uh, little play where the Buffalo Sabre player was dumped and the fans not too happy there. The Soviet official again letting it go. Goveen, number 25, getting set. Gilbert Perrault at center. For the Buffalo Sabres with Martin and Seelan. Now Varnikov moves in to take the face off. Perot and Colvin were chased out. Sealing against number 26, Varnikov. Linesman Koharski telling the players to get into position. Now the Soviet referee Karandian gets there and talks to them. Okay, we're 
set. The puck rolls to Don Edwards. Covers up quickly. Tried to get it to Schoenfeld. Arrow against Colvin. Arrow drops it back to Schoenfeld. Behind his own net. Up to Richard Martin. Martin, a long pass intended for sealing. Intercepted by Colvin. A shot. And Schoenfeld stopped that. Sealing gets it out to center. The Soviets bring it right back. This is Sportsap. Sportsap dropping it back. And Colvin couldn't get a drive. And here comes Sealing. Sealing going in with Schoenfeld. Drops it to Schoenfeld. A shot. And that just goes wide of goaltender Tretiak. We've played exactly six minutes in the second period. Gilbert Perrault behind the net. Sealing trying to get possession of the puck. And it goes over to Starikov. Along the boards to Sportsap. Now he sends it back to Babinov. Around the board, Van Boxmeer moves up a shot. And that was off the mark. Sportsap. Now Luchenko gets it ahead to Starikov. A long shot. That deflected off Schoenfeld and goes wide. The Soviet player Sportsap. He's bumped by Playfair. The puck comes to center. Winding up now. Number 10 is Lobanov. Lobanov for the Soviets. Has Drozdetsky out there. He's flattened in front of the net. And the Sabres have possession. Now it's brought back to Luchenko. Luchenko's shot. That's blocked by Van Boxmere. Van Boxmere then pinned against the boards by Drozdetsky. Gilbert Perrault got it. It was knocked with a high stick. Well, we're going to get another look here at the, the hit by Schoenfeld, and this is what Schoenfeld and the big defenseman from Buffalo does very well. Here he is playing one-on-one, -on -one, looks right at the man's body, just takes him down. That hurt, I'll tell you that. But he looked at his body the whole way, didn't look at the puck, just a tremendous body check. And I think that the Soviets have great respect for the likes of Schoenfeld and Korab, who have been throwing their weight around all night. And I think that they have the Soviet team with their heads up for the majority of the time because they really have been laying on the body. And Lobanov, number 10. Was the one that Sean Fowl hit, and he's at center now for this faceoff. Volchkov and Drozdetsky, the other forwards for the Soviets. 13 minutes and two seconds left. In the second period, the Sabres leading 2 0. This is Korab. Korab gets it up on the left side. Brought in by Dudley. That shot by Van Boxmere is grabbed by Tretia. With the score, the Sabres 2, the Soviets nothing. Super Series 80 pauses for a moment. Back at Buffalo's Memorial Auditorium, Bernie Pascal with Tom Watt and Ron Roosh. The Sabres leading 2-0 on first period goals. One by Danny Gare, the other by Lutz. Now it's Luchenko. Slaps it around the boards. Drozdetsky gets it out. Lobanov goes after it. Couldn't control the puck, though, and the Sabres have it again. Over to Van Boxmere. And he backhands it into the Soviet zone. It goes right to Luchenko. Luchenko ahead to Volchkov. Up on that right side goes Drozdetsky, but the Buffalo player Ruff was back to knock him off stride. Dudley in the corner. Clear to an open wing. Lutenko moves after it, stops it right at the line, keeps it in. Drozdetsky back to Volchkov in front. They slap away at it. Lobanov tried to get it, and the Sabres clear it back to the Soviet zone. Kazadinov up the middle. Way goes Mikhailov. Harlamov trying to catch up to it. And Danny Gare got there ahead of Harlamov. Back to the line. There's a drive by Gamayev, and that stop and shot back down the ice into the Soviet zone. Gamayev goes down after it. And an icing call against Buffalo. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left in the second period. Danny Gare. Number 18, the Buffalo Sabres captain, has a word with his centerman, Smith. Derek Smith, number 19. Puck comes back. Palamov's shot hit a skate and goes wide. Malchenkov, his shot hit the side of the net. Players collide in the corner. The puck goes loose and Smith has it. Here's Smith for Buffalo to Danny Gare. Gare lost possession. But Hyloff a shot. And Edwards stopped that. Height brings it back now for Buffalo. Up to McKegney. To Danny Gare. Gare backhands it over to Smith. And he in turn backhands it into the Soviet zone. Gare collides with Gamayev and knocks him against the boards. 
and there will be a penalty. And in the Soviet referee. From Memorial Auditorium, the Central Red Army and the Sabres in Game 3 of Super Series 80. Well, there we see the Soviet captain, Boris Mikhailov, who is off with Danny Gare. Here we see Gamayev going into the corner, just taking a tremendous check from McKegney. Well, the sticks get a little high in the corners. They come off. There's no penalty on that play. Here it occurs right here. First of all, Gare going in and with uh, Mikhailov against the boards, and they're both going off. 11 minutes remaining in the second period. And the Soviets have it in their own zone. Buffalo player Ramsey got a piece of it, but it's brought out by Makarov. Out to Balderas. Balderas passes it in front, going after it was Starikov, and he just failed to connect with that pass. Height now back for Buffalo. Height passes it over on the right side, loose. Over to Richard Dunn. Dunn dumped by Babinoff, but Luce shoots it in. Offside. Well, just before uh, the offside play, we saw Starikov moving up, and this is one thing the Soviets do. When you're each a man short, when you're playing four on four, the exception of the goaltenders, they don't mind moving their defenseman right up to try and create the odd man situation, especially when they're down two goals. They throw everything to offense. They're not, uh, those defensemen aren't just staying back there. And they tried to create the three on two with Starikov just moving them right up uh, as if he was a wingman along with the two forwards. This is Schoenfeld now for Buffalo. Trying to get the pass to Ramsey, intercepted by Helmut Balderas. Balderas, number 19. Back into his own zone. Each team a man short. Now a pass goes to Starikov. He's tripped as he got over the Buffalo line and the Sabres dump it out to center. Makarov, 21-year-old speedster, he's checked by Schoenfeld, and Schoenfeld will get a penalty as he knocked Makarov heavily to the ice. Well, the call is roughing, and Makarov was only 21 years old and one of the bright young lights of the Soviet team. We're going to get another look at it. He gets up on his own uh, steam there, but he took a tremendous check. Here he is. He makes a little move to the outside and comes back to the inside. Well, whoops, there it is. Gets the high stick. Called roughing at that point from Schoenfeld. We get one look at it again. Went to the outside, come back to the inside. Schoenfeld seemed to get him with his right arm and hand. Maybe a little bit of the stick when he's in there, but the call is roughing to Schoenfeld. Ten minutes and three seconds left in the second period. Gare has 47 seconds remaining in his penalty. The high loft, likewise, 47. And now Schoenfeld is in the penalty box. The face-off will be in the Buffalo zone to the left of Don Edwards. Well, both of the coaches here are looking for a little one-upsmanship. Uh, Buffalo Sabres came over to their bench to talk to Scotty Bowman and Roger Nielsen, and then uh, Tikhanov, he called the Soviet team over, and they had a little comp flaps and so on. The officials trying to get them to the face-off circle, but they weren't able to get them there too quickly. Makarov will take this face-off for the Soviets against Ramsey. Mark his drop. Ramsey wins the draw, and it's chopped down the ice into the Soviet zone. Back forward is Kazadinov. Kazadinov, number 21, leading a Soviet attack to Balderas. Here's Balderas on the right wing. Back to Kazadinov. Going in with Makarov and Babinov. Here's Babinov. Drops it back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov getting set. Back to Babinov. Babinov fakes a shot. Back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov. Back to Babinov. There's a shot. Edwards stopped it. Is that enough? Bump by height, and Jerry Korat clears it off the glass. Ramsey is bumped by Babinoff, but gets the puck out. Five seconds remaining in the penalties to Gare and Mihailov. A minute 17 remaining in Schoenfeld's penalty. Here's Babinoff going in for the Soviets. Babinoff behind the net, right in front, and it's knocked down and comes to the line, but not out. Babinoff shoots it into the corner. Over to Mihailov. Mihailov getting set, and that's knocked down. He gets the rebound, and he's shot wide. Kazadinov inside the line. Back to Babinov. Babinov fakes over to Mihailov, and his shot went right through the crease. Nobody there. Kerr couldn't get it out. Here's Babinov getting set, a shot, and it's deflected just wide. 
Balderas got away from Hype. Off the boards to Kazadinov. 30 seconds left in the penalty. Comes over to Makarov. Makarov, number 15. Back to Babinov. Babinov shot, and that's deflected wide. Kazadinov off the boards. Mihailov back to Kazadinov. Getting set. There's a shot. Edwards stopped it. Mihailov the rebound, and he backhanded it over to the other side. Ten seconds left in the penalty. Mihailov shot. Off height. Up over the glass and out of play. Great penalty killing. And so they should because it was just a classic confrontation. The Soviets uh, just controlled the puck very, very well, moved the puck around that zone. Buffalo held their positions, played very disciplined hockey. Here we see one of the pucks coming back to the point, moved to the far point. There we see them out. They've inverted their triangle at this point. They've got the two men at the top and one at the bottom. Everybody backing one another up. Now we're at the point where they're only one man short. But here we have classic play. There's the shot being blocked. Again, the puck is thrown across, and we had a great block just at the end of that series by Height. Three seconds left in the penalty to Sean Fowl, and he steps on the ice. And the Sabres have successfully killed off the penalty. They lead two to nothing. Buck is into the Soviet zone. Gamayev, number five. Gilbert Perrault checks him. The puck goes to Volchenkov. Volchenkov up on the right side. Drozdetsky shoots it in, and it's backhanded out by Richard Dunn down the ice. Gabayev back into his own zone. Seven minutes and 35 seconds left here in the second period. Sean Fell tried to get the lead pass to Richard Martin. Off his stick, and it's brought right back out by Drozdetsky. Stopped at center, but Lobanov shoots it into the Buffalo zone. Dunn behind his own net. Off the boards, it's intercepted a shot. And Dunn is over quickly to get that. Back to the line. Buck goes in front, and the Sabres have it again. Dunn throws it ahead. Martin going in with ceiling and Perrault. Oh, and Kretschak got a piece of that shot from Gilbert Perrault. Well, the Soviets have changed their style of forechecking, trying to put a little more pressure. They're moving their defensemen up to try and forecheck inside the Buffalo zone. It was tipped by him at the blue line to create the two-on-one opportunity. We see Gamayev getting caught, puck tipped by him. That creates the two-on-one with Richard Martin throwing it across the Perot. The shot, good stop by Trechak going low. The two-on-one being created by that Soviet defender pressing up at his own blue line. Seven minutes and one second left in the second period. Buffalo Sabres leading 2-0. Derek Smith out there at center for Buffalo. The puck rolls back to Danny Garris shot. And Kretschak stopped that. Here comes Harlamov. Up with Mihailov. Up over the line. Harlamov's weak shot. And he was well covered by defenseman Richard Dunn. Luchenko's shot. That missed by about three feet. McKegney slaps it off the boards to center to Gare. Gare going in with Smith. Rolled it in front. And the Soviets break that up. Luchenko. To Mihailov at center. Over to Harlamov. Harlamov getting set a shot, and that was off the target. And it comes all the way down the ice into the Soviet zone. Luchenko, number three. He was 31 yesterday, celebrated a birthday here in Buffalo. Luchenko. Now it's up on that right side. Mihailov going in with Harlamov and Petrov. Taken out of the play by Schoenfeld, who shoots the puck out. Six minutes remaining in the second period. Here's Petrov over the line, offside. With the score, Buffalo two. As Dudley on the right side and Richard Martin on the left side on this line now. 25 for the Soviets is Kovin. Dudley goes after it, backhands it to Korab, lifts it high at the Soviet line. Delayed offside, now it's waved off. Starikov. Stolen by Perrault. Gilbert Perrault, number 11 for Buffalo. Cleared it over to an open wing. Martin's after it quickly. Gets it in front. And the Soviet player, Skvortsev, has it. Skvortsev backhands it. Martin knocked it down. Stops at the line. Perrault brought it in. Now it's up to number 26, Barnikov. Over to the opposite wing to Skvortsev. And the Soviets have trouble getting a rush for it. Off, ducked as that shot almost hit him. Five minutes and ten seconds left in the second period. The Soviets get it out. Kovin 
Backhands it into the Buffalo corner. This is Korab, number four. Korab ahead to Richard Martin. Martin stopped by Babinoff, but gets the puck again. And clears it outside the blue line. Coveen is bumped. Puck goes back to Gamaya. Gamaya trying to get that lead pass ahead to Coveen. Failed to click. Rough, number 22. Here's a chance for the Soviets in front. And it's knocked away in front of by Perrault. Perrault got to the line. Stop there. Martin going up with Dudley. And the Soviets break that up. Gamaya gets a lead pass out. And it's knocked back outside the line. And in the game on the offside. From Memorial Auditorium, the Central Red Army and the Buffalo Sabres, Game 3 of Super Series 80. And the Soviet coach, Tikhanov, looking on, obviously very concerned, as the Sabres lead 2-0. Buck is backhanded around the boards. Four minutes and 24 seconds left in the second period. This is Lutenko. Cleared it to an open wing. Kazadinov catching up to it, though, and then backhands it down the ice into the Buffalo zone. Height gets the puck ahead. Intercepted by Zlutkov. Ramsey goes after it, but Zlutkov has it for the Soviets to Lutenko. Back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov straight up the middle. In goes Zlutkov. A long shot stopped by Don Edwards. Done. Off the boards, and it's cleared down the ice. Lutenko backhands it. Kazadinov gets it up on the left side. Balderas blocked against the board by Height. They pin the puck there and get a whistle. And now let's go downstairs. Here's Ron Root. The highlights of the New Year's Eve game won by the Canadians 4-2. to two. We'll have a full highlight package of that game coming up on our second intermission. We'll also be talking with the associate coach of the Buffalo Sabres, Roger Nielsen, and Tom Watt will be back with highlights and analysis of this second period of play. Three minutes and 43 seconds left in the second period. Both goals scored in the first period. Lobanov has knocked off the puck. Sean Feld of the Sabres trying to get out. Drozdetsky checks him. Now it's cleared by Van Foxner, but he was stopped by Lobanov, and they get it right back into the corner and get another whistle. Well, I feel now that uh, Buffalo Sabres are going to get a few more of those two-on-one opportunities that we saw Richard Martin, Martin have because the Soviets have changed their forechecking and they're really pressing up at the Buffalo blue line with their defensemen and uh, almost uh, just before we had the face-off inside the zone, the puck was tipped by them to create the two-on-one opportunities, but they're taking chances now. There's Sean Fell going after the puck for Buffalo, up the middle for Savard, got away from him, and Sterikov slaps it, can't get it out. Savard, number 12, knocked against the boards by Lobanov. And now the Soviet player Sterikov tried to get it on that right wing side, it was intercepted. Volchenkov is stopped. The Sabres come right back in, but it's offside at the central Red Army blue line. Sabres lead this one, 2-0. Now ah, it's brought in by Lobanov. Lobanov lost possession, played there off the glass, and the Sabres get it out to center. Starikov for the Soviets to Lobanov. Lobanov winding up. Coming in now with Drozdetsky. The puck is deflected into the corner. Volchkov is all tied up, and the Sabres get it out to center ice. Dudley couldn't catch up to it. Lobanov, number 10, for the Central Red Army. Drops it back to Volchenko. Playfair shoots it right back into the Soviet zone. They're doing an excellent job of tying up the Soviets. This is Smith in behind the net. Pinned there by Volchenko. McKechnie trying to get it loose. And they all get in and hold the puck with two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the second period. Buffalo Sabres, leaders of the Adams Division, the second highest points total in the entire NHL as we see Alexei Volchenkov heading to the bench. And it's been a fast-paced, wide-open game. Zadonov, number 21, coming out on defense now, along with Gamayev, number 5 for the Soviets. Derek Smith, number 19, will take this face off. Back to slap back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov got it up. Here comes Petrov. 
Up with Parlamov. Up over the Sabres line. A backhand shot. And Edwards stopped that. Parlamov goes after the loose puck. Danny Gare stops him. Here's Gamayev. His shot. And that hit Smith and went wide. Now Smith brings it out. Pass on that left side for Tony McKegney. But back to cover up was Mikhailov. And the Soviets get it out to center. Petrov racing into the Buffalo zone of shot. And that was stopped and the Sabres come right back. Smith trying to get it back to Gare. Gare hooked Parlamov and knocked him down. There'll be a penalty there. That shot by Mikhailov goes wide. Buck McKegney has it. And the infraction, the penalty to Danny Gare as he hauled down Parlamov inside the Buffalo blue line. Well, there we see Danny Gare going to the box, but there was no question about that call. Here we just see it at uh, the end of the play when he turned around, had a, a stick a little high. Whoops, we're going to get it back again here. The stick just around the top. Got a little bit, I think, of his head at that point, just pulling him down for the Buffalo penalty, and the Soviets get an opportunity here with a man advantage with 133 left in the second period. There's Gare in the box. So Danny Gare for hooking at 18-27. Face off to the left of goaltender Don Edwards. The Sabres have outshot the Central Red Army 17 to 16 in the game. Don Luce in his ninth year with the Buffalo Sabres getting set for this important face off against Petrov. Sabres a man short. Goes into the corner to Sean Fell. Gunfeld knocked against the board, goes after the puck again. Bumps with Mihailov. Luktov gets in there as well. They fight for possession. And it's held long enough to get another whistle. Very, very seldom will ever play a forward on the point. Shluktov, who has been scoring pretty well in this series, they've got him on the point with Kazatnov and the big line of Petrov, Harmelov, and Mikhailov. But they don't usually do this. They like to have those defensemen on the point. But they're getting a little desperate at this point in the hockey game. And here the puck rolls into the corner. Mihailov goes after it there. It comes back to Zluktov. Gets it over. Kazadinov. Over to Valery Harlamov. Back to Kazadinov. Over now to Zluktov. Zluktov to Petrov. Petrov, number 16 for the Soviets, setting up. Rolls it in front. And it got away from Mihailov. Harlamov dumps it in front. And we're into the final minute of the second period. Zluktov back at his own zone. One minute and ten seconds left in the penalty to Danny Gare. The Soviets, Holomov. Got away from Ramsey. Still has the puck. Up to the line. And it hit a player and came back out to center. Petrov to Holomov. Had it tied up in his skate. Mihailov helps out. Number seven. There's Mihailov shooting it into Valerie Harlamov. John foul. Back handed it down the ice. 25 seconds left in the second period. Soviets on the power play. They trail 2-0. This is Petrov. Balderas is out there now, number 19. Petrov inside the Sabres line. Backhand. Edwards out of the net. Left it there for Schoenfeld. Here's Kazadinov. Into the corner to Balderas. Balderas bumped by Schoenfeld. Sabres trying to get it out. And Schoenfeld succeeds. As the horn goes to end the second period of play. And Gare has seven seconds remaining in his minor penalty. But the Sabres did a good job of once again killing that penalty. So at the end of the second period, the score, Buffalo 2 and the Soviets nothing. Live from Buffalo, Super Series 80.
through. Has that enough? Has that enough? Shoot shot. Paul Darius. No hats go. They're saying here's the floor. There's the shot. He scores. Paul Darius for the blue line. Paul Darius just hit the line and flashed it. It went between the legs, I believe, of 78. Two to one. Simply went on. not the, uh, the play that we wanted there. We thought that uh, we had the penalty. Uh, maybe this is it now when Makarov picks up the puck and he makes a little move. He goes to the outside first on Schoenfeld, then comes back to the inside. Schoenfeld got leaning the wrong way and had to give him a little bit of the stick and arm, and uh, he pulls him down. He's got the roughing call here, and uh, it was four men to three for the Soviets at this point. The Soviets really uh, controlled um, the puck very well, but the discipline of the, uh, the Buffalo penalty killing unit, uh, uh, unit was exceptional here. Now, um, here we have the, the Soviets moving the puck from the point, getting that opportunity. You just see it going wide, but the Soviets, they can control it here. But I think that the key to their, uh, the Buffalo uh, job that they've been doing here is that they've been staying in their spots, trying to play as disciplined as they can. We got a little out of position at that point, but you see the Soviets controlling it, controlling it, trying to move it inside to get that opportunity, but they haven't really had the good opportunity from either the slot or in front of the net. Buffalo content to let them move the puck at the point, let them move the puck at the outside, being very disciplined here uh, in their zone. Here we have Gare out at this point. Uh, he had just come out of the box uh, after being down 4-3. to three. We see Gare chasing it, and that's one thing that Buffalo likes to do, too. Like some of the European clubs, they, uh, if, you, if you haven't got complete control of the puck, then that they'll come at you as Gare did there to try and gain possession and hope that you will throw the puck away. 
Here's another shot coming from the point. Good discipline. And of course, I think the other thing along with the penalty killing of, of the Buffalo Sabres uh, in this period has been certainly the play of Edwards. I think uh, his play has been outstanding. Uh, Buffalo was outshot in that period uh, uh, 10 to 7, I believe. And uh, I think that, uh, that uh, all night long, he was just played an outstanding game in the nets. And of course, uh, when you shut them out for two periods, you shut out a team like the Soviets. Uh, this is uh, really something. This is the penalty to Gare here. Uh, this was the hooking penalty. Well, well, actually, I think uh, a, a little, oops, there we have a little hook around the neck. But I, I think one thing. Defense for the Soviets. And loose, number 20 out there, along with Ramsey. John fell. And the third period is underway. Makarov slaps the puck into the Buffalo zone. Ramsey, number 10. Off the boards and down the ice it goes. Tretiak leaves it there. Luchenko ran into his teammate Kazadinov. And now Kazadinov brings it up. Two's Luktov. He had trouble with it. And Ramsey for Buffalo backhands it. Gare is back on the ice. The Sabres are at full strength. Sean Fell in his own zones. Luke Top knocked it away from him. Here's Gare trying to catch up to it. Collides with Luchenko. And they pin it there and get another whistle. And the face off in the Buffalo zone. Veteran defenseman Luchenko. He joined the national team back in 1969. And the upcoming Olympics at Lake Placid will be Luchenko's third Olympic Games. He was 31 yesterday. Both teams at full strength. Petrov, Mihailov, and Harlamov out there for the Soviets. Buck is back to the line. Starikov took that shot. It went to Terry Korat. Korat trying to get it out. Has it at the blue line. It's kept in by Harlamov. Rolls it in front. And Smith can't get it out. Mihailov. There's a shot knocked down by Schoenfeld. It's off the glass. And down the ice into the Soviet zone. Back for it is Starikov and it's icing against Buffalo. Now let's uh, check a game with Ron Roos. Well, a reminder that right after tonight's game, the Molson International Awards. Our award winners in the two games televised on CTV, Mikhail Barnikov in the Madison Square Garden and the Rangers' Ulf Nielsen. In the second game, it was Victor Shluktov for the Soviets as the Canadians won that game, and Bob Ganey was the number one star. Who will it be tonight? The Molson International Awards, right after tonight's game. Ready now, Smith and Petrov moving into the face-off position. Petrov goes after the puck, trying to get it back. And Danny Gare scoops it out to center. Loose puck at center ice. McKegney. Number eight shoots it into the Soviet zone. This is Starikov. Starikov passes up on the right wing side to Mihailov. McKegney checked him. Now here's a break for Mihailov going in. And he was stopped there by Richard Dunn. Heist off the board. Moving up for the Soviets was Starikov, and now it's cleared to an open wing down the ice. And Babinov, number four, back for it for the Soviet Red Army. Sealing standing in front of the Soviet net. Pass comes to Gabaya. Up to Colvin, deflected off his stick down into the Saber zone. And it's Richard Dunn. Slaps it around the boards to Sealing. He deflects it to center. We've played two minutes here in the third period. And the Sabres lead 2-0. At center ice, here's Colvin bringing it up outside at the Buffalo Blue Line. Excellent play by Gilbert Perot. There you see Skortsov. He's a little upset there because Gilbert Perot brought him. Just came from behind him as the play was being made by Colvin at the blue line and just took him over offside. He's claiming he was deliberately taking off, which he was, but the linesman didn't catch it. Offside of the blue line nullified that rush. Each team has had 17 shots in the game. Back, drop back to Jerry Korab. Korab bringing it out for Buffalo with Gilbert Perot and Richard Martin. Korab into the corner, bumped there by Gamaya. Richard Martin has it. Martin, number seven. And the Soviet player, Martin, is all over. Now the puck goes to Barnikov, right in front of his own net. Back hands it. Goes out to Colvin. Colvin is checked by Korab. Here comes Larry Playfair. He's bumped. 
and the Soviet player Volchenkov on the left side. Clears it over to Sportsev. He couldn't catch up to it. And it's stopped by Gamayev. Off the boards at center. Here comes Martin. Martin back to play fair to Martin offside. He was over the line and the puck was behind him. Live from Buffalo, this is Super Series 80 on CTV. We played two minutes, 59 seconds. Here's that action, here, Tom. Here we have uh, uh, Richard Martin just holding off the Soviet here. The fans just screaming for a penalty. The Soviet player all over him, pulling him down. And I was talking to Scotty Bowman uh, and Roger just down at the room when we were down at the studio, and they were saying, just one power play. That's all we want, one. <laughs> Well, the Sabres have had five of the six penalties in the game. Here's a chance for Ramsey, and the shot is deflected high over the glass and out of play. Mark is slapped out to center. Richard Dunn trying to get that lead pass ahead to Don Luce. It bounced over his stick, and Luchenko slaps it around the boards to Balderas. Balderas lost the puck to Ramsey, goes after it again. Balderas coming right in front of Tretiak. Drops it there for Luchenko. Up to Kazadinov. Kazadinov trying to get that pass to Zutkov. And Don Luce shoots it in. Ramsey goes after it. Tretiak steered the puck into the corner. Zlukov goes after it along with the Buffalo player Gould. And we get a whistle. Well, the fans here are just screaming because Gould made a good play there and he tapped uh, Balderas' stick as he was trying to break down the wing. Balderas lost his stick. Then when he was looking for his stick, he came back from behind Gould, tried to kick his skates right out from underneath him, but no penalty again. The Soviet official is just checking the stats on that. McKegney is out there and outside. Petrov, Mihailov. And it's Petrov with the puck. Harlamov, number 17, with Mihailov and Petrov. The pass goes in front. That shot by Starikov. And it's deflected out of play. Well, there we have it again. Starikov, who is moving right up. The Soviets down 2 nothing. You see, Starikov again is the defenseman. He's moving up to try and create the odd man situation as he did when they were playing four on four. They're not afraid to move those defensemen up to get involved in the attack. Face off directly in front of Edwards. And that shot, and Edwards scooped that up from the ice. Here comes Korab, and he just shoots the puck into the Soviet zone. Back for to Starikov, and the Sabres call for icing. With the score, Buffalo 2, the Soviets nothing. Super Series 80 pauses for a moment. Taking a bit of a breather. Now the action. Puck goes into the corner to Sean Fell. Pumped by Petrov. Petrov docks the puck loose. Danny Kerr goes after it. Petrov and Sean Fell pushing behind the net. Buck goes ahead down to Smith. Up to Gare. Gare's over the line. A shot. Petjak stops it. McKegney on the rebound just missed the net. Now the Soviets. Petrov at center. Long pass. And that got away from Mihailov. And it's offside. A close call. Danny Gare's shot. Stopped by Tretjak and McKegney right in front. Well, there you see Mikhailov. He's the captain of the team, and he's going after his teammates. You saw after that pass that went behind him. You watch him now. He'll get after them. He'll give them a talking to here when he gets to the bench because he doesn't stand for that. He wants all those passes to be perfect, and he's the guy. He's the chatter man on that bench, and he gives them what for if they make the mistake. Well, that line has played together for something like 10 years. Even they had their off nights, as they did on that last series. Back is cleared out to center. This is Kovine. Back hands it over to Volchenkov. Stopped at the Sabres line by Ruff. Back now to Volchenkov. Got the puck ahead to Sportsev. Back to Kovine. Kovine shoots it into the Sabres zone. Back after it for Buffalo is Ruff. Martin is bumped against the boards by Volchenkov. Volchenkov stopping at the puck, and Joubert Perrault has it. Side. Sealing going in on goal, a shot. Kretschak stopped that. Sealing has it behind the net. Gilbert Perrault gets in there. Here's Heist. Backhands it. Perrault goes after it. Knocked against the boards by Gamaya. Richard Martin slips and falls. Shot. That stopped by Kretschak. And the fans upset, figuring there should be a penalty there. Now it goes to Varnikov. Varnikov of the 
Varsovians up on the left wing, over the line, back to Sports up in front. Oh, and Barnikov shot it wide. Here's Paro, gets the puck out. Martin took a punch at Colvin and knocked him to the ice. And the referee didn't see that. He was going the other way. Martin punched the Soviet player and knocked him down. Now this is Kazadinov. Lutchenko up to center to Makarov. Over the line. Makarov bumped by Sean Fell and Jerry Korab shoots it around the boards. Kazadinov stops it there. Balderas behind the net to Makarov and Edwards stopped that shot. And it's shot down the ice into the Soviet zone. Luchenko is back after it. And it's icing against Buffalo. The Memorial Auditorium, the Red Army, and the Buffalo Sabres. Game three of Super Series 80. Well, here we see the Soviets. They're throwing everything they have now at Buffalo. Here's a nice little uh, drop pass. It comes back again. Now watch. He just has Edwards at his mercy. Throws the puck right out the far side when he had a perfect opportunity. Barnikov, the same type of goal he scored against Rangers, the first goal that they got in New York City. Ready now as Lutov lost the draw. It goes to Sean Fell. Slaps it around the boards. John Gould couldn't control it. Kazadinov at his own blue line. Then he was bumped. Gould backhands it. Lutov clears it out to center. Korab for Buffalo. Helmut Balderas watching him. Korab backhands it right to Trechak. Buffalo leading 2 to nothing here in the third period. Slugchop bringing it out. A pass to Balderas, and that was knocked off his stick. Here comes Luce, getting it ahead to Gould, but he couldn't catch up to it. The Soviet player Makarov, and it deflects off a stick into the Sabre zone. Schoenfeld, number six. Balderas slips and falls. Around the boards to Ramsey. Ramsey can't control the pass, goes after it at center. Zlutov lost it, here's Ramsey. Coming up with Luce. Paces it into the corner. Ramsey goes after it, and the Soviet player just backhanded it around to Makarov. Makarov couldn't get it. Here's Danny Kerr, he's dumped by Starikov. In behind the net goes Starikov. Kerr knocks him down, and there'll be a penalty to Danny Kerr. A delayed penalty. The Soviet player Starikov. Kazadinov, number 21, a delayed penalty coming up to Gare. This is Mihailov. Mihailov up on the right side to Balderas. Balderas is knocked down. Petrov up on the left side. Here's Makarov into the corner, drops it back to Kazadinov into the side. Balderas in front. Here's a shot. Starikov, they score! The Soviets on the board. Well, there we see Helmut Balderas. The fans here are just going wild because I, I've never seen anything so blatant in my life as the officiating in this game. There's no question about it that Carandine. Here we have the first play. It's an out and out dump. Sterikov dumps Gare. Gare comes right back here, puts the word on, on Sterikov behind the net. There's the trip right in front of the official, but he didn't call. One, and that's what gets Gare upset. There is hands are in the air, but now the Soviets control the puck. The Soviets control the puck at this point. They go right down. Here we have, they've got the extra man out there. Here we have Balderas all by himself on the side of the net. They've got the goaltender out. They're controlling it just like a power play. Moved off to Balderas at the side. Here we see two Soviets. There's the gimme at that point, but the fans here are just going wild. They've littered the ice. Blatant as far as the officiating is concerned in favor of the Soviet. There's the Soviet coach taken off. And the Sabres will have to keep their cool against the team like the Central Red Army. On the delayed penalty, the Danny Gare Balderas scores. And it's 2-1 to one with 11 minutes and 48 seconds remaining in the third period. There's Tikhanov pointing to himself, and he's, he's smiling. He says, is it my fault? Is it my fault? Set. Well, here we have it. It is true that Danny Gare did take him down, but what precipitated that was that the Soviet defender was all over him, just pulling him, pushing him down the hole. Works through it. it was a, a, an out-and-out -out penalty at that point. Gare gets frustrated, comebacks, dumps the Soviet player, and then he was going to get the two minutes. Here's Tikhanov. Is it 
my fault? Is it my fault? Well, I don't know whether it's your fault or not, but the Soviet official out and out just, just forgets about anything that the Soviet team does as far as fouls are concerned. Live from Buffalo, this is Super Series 80 on CTV. The Soviet goal was scored by Paul Deris from Starikov and Kazadinov at 8-12. Faceoff in the Buffalo zone. To the left the Don Edwards. Petrov and the Buffalo Sabres McKegney up to Danny Gare. Here's Gare going in, bumped by Starikov and taken out. The shot is Breaking down, getting that hand in, holding Starikov off. The original shot just goes off the side of that. Here's the tip back. They'll receive the technique coming in late with Smith, pushing the puck by the Soviet goaltender Trechak. But watch there, there's Gare holding off the Soviet defender. There's the tip right in front of the net. There's the shot going by Trechak, and that really brings the fans to their feet after that Soviet goal. Here we have another look at it. Gare making the original play. There's the stop off the side of the net. Whoops, the dump in front. And we have the goal to go ahead, 3-1. to one. Back with 11 minutes and 28 seconds left. In the third period, the Sabres lead 3-1. to the live action. The puck is shot into the Soviet zone. Smith from McKegney and Gare at 8.32. Now it's rough. Number 22 for Buffalo. Off the boards. Martin couldn't get it. And it's cleared right back into the Buffalo zone. Bill Height. Number 24 off the boards to Martin. Martin up the middle, but it's intercepted there by Colvin, and it's shot in on the offside. You know, Bernie, before the Soviets did get that first goal, I think they were really dead. I, I saw the Soviets in one power play and 14 chances in the series, and they're using forwards on the point. Three things that they've never done, and you know they're upset when those things happen. Exactly 11 minutes remaining in the third period. The Sabres lead 3-1. Here comes Colvin. Got the pass over to Barnikoff and went off his skate. Now, Gilbert Perrault takes it into the corner. Perrault is knocked off stride. Sealing goes over to help him, and the Soviets bring it up. Sportsap, number 24 on the right side, moves it into Colvin, and he's taken into the corner, but the Buffalo player tore out foul. Now it's Sean Foul. Up the middle for Buffalo. Going in with Martin, the shot. Oh, and that didn't miss by much. Bornikov in behind the net. Volchenkov for the Soviets. Got the pass intended for Kovine, and Dunn breaks that up. Gemayev up on the left side. Here goes Kvortsev. And over to cover him was Richard Dunn. The Sabres clear it out to center. Gemayev to Zlutov. Drops it back to Kazadinov. Kazadinov, number 21, up to Balderas at center. Got away from loose and then goes back into his own zone. To Kazadinov. Up on the far side, loose, bumped with Balderas. Now here's Dudley in the corner. Dudley is stopped in Luchenko for the Soviets. On the left side at center ice. Here's Luchenko's shot, and Edwards stopped that. Balderas knocked against the boards by Dunn. The Sabres player Ramsey off the boards for Dudley. Ramsey chases it down, comes out on the left side, going in against Kazadinov. Couldn't get a shot. Now the Soviets have it. Makarov to Balderas. Back to Makarov. At center. Slipped and fell as he bumped with the Sabre player. Here's Height. Going in with McKegney, and that's broken up. Balderas with nine minutes remaining in the third period. Makarov up to the Buffalo line. A shot. And that hit Height. Here comes Dudley. Dudley leads it out to McKegney. McKegney going in. Jack, stop that. A very 
determined effort there by McKegney, just breaking in, holding off the Soviet defender all the block, no matter what happens. But McKegney showing the determination. Here we have Ramsey just breaking loose over the blue line. Breaking around, there's the miss at that point, and he's dumped. But the putt came back again, and we had McKegney with the good opportunity. Here's McKegney breaking in, holding the Soviet defender off. It looks like he's right out of the play. Gets around him, gets the shot on goal. Trechak having to come up with a good stop. Here's McKegney at the side. They slap away right at the line, and Trechak covers up with Smith, Gare, and McKegney once again. Boy, is this some game or what? Well, determination is the word from this forward line here. They've just worked Gare, McKegney, Smith. They've worked very, very hard. They've checked the big line of the Soviet. They've come up with two goals tonight, and that line is just playing great. Buffalo Sabres leading 3-1 with 8 minutes and 32 seconds left in the third period. Mikhailov bumps with Danny Gare. This is Smith, number 19, knocked against the boards by Petrov, and they pin it there. Another face-off in the Soviet zone. With the score, Buffalo 3, the Soviets 1. Super Series 80 pauses for a moment. There's Volchenkov, number 13 for the Soviets. The face-off to Tretiak's right. Gilbert Perro wins the draw. Comes back to Playfair, slaps it off the board. Perro into the corner after it. Here's Sealing. Back to Gilbert Perro. Perro trying to set up Martin. Comes back to Sean Fell, the shot. And Kretschak loves that. Sabres have outshot the Soviets 26 to 21. Colvin, number 25, against Perro. Martin moves in before the puck is dropped. Now it's dropped back now to Gamayev. Gamayev trying to get it up the middle. It's over now to Sportsev. Sportsev at center. Here's a chance for Varnikov. Puts on the brakes. And the Sabres break that up, but they can't get it up. Playfair's knocked against the boards. There's a shot over the top of the net. Sportsev into the corner. Schoenfeld lines him up. Perot backhands it right in front. Varnikov getting set. Comes back now to Volchenkov. A shot deflected wide. Colvin goes after it. Edwards is all tied up with the Soviet player's stick. And the puck is shot down the ice with seven and a half minutes remaining in the third period. This is Volchenkov. Locked against the boards by Richard Martin. Varnikov up to the Buffalo line. Back hands it to Skvortsev. In this loop top at the side. He couldn't get a shot as Richard Dunn did a good job of checking him. Gamayev's shot. And that hit his teammate Varnikov. And the Sabres take off the pressure by shooting it down into the Soviet zone. Kazadinov. Seven minutes remaining in the third period. This is Dunn. Off the boards. Kazadinov for the Soviets. To Makarov. Makarov, number 15. He's stopped there by Ramsey. And then Ramsey's held against the boards right at the Soviet line, and we get a whistle. Well, there we see Makarov, and he tried to put the little move on Ramsey, and there's one of the best checking forwards in the National Hockey League in Ramsey, and he wasn't able to put that move on. In fact, he was fortunate it didn't create a two-on-one when he tried to come out of his own zone. Instead of moving the puck with a pass, he tried to make the little stick-handling move by him, and at your own blue line, that's a pretty dangerous play. Six minutes and 46 seconds left in the third period. The Sabres lead 3-1. Ramsey backhands the puck right to Kazadinov. Up to Makarov. Tried to get it to Zlukov, and it failed. Done. Off the glass. Back into the Soviet zone is Luchenko. Luchenko to Makarov. Remember on Sunday, the Central Red Army will play Quebec Nordiques in Quebec, and that game will be televised on the full CTV network. On Sunday, Loose backhands it to center. Ramsey. Now he got the puck to Loose. He slapped it into the Soviet zone. Kazaninov to Makarov. Out to center. Dunn intercepts that and shoots it right at Kretschak. Now Kazaninov, number 21. Watch by Gare. Trying to get that lead pass to Petrov. Failed. Sean fell to McKegney. Now the puck loose at center. Makarov goes after it. Korab got there first. 
And it's shot into the Soviet zone. Number 14 is Starikov. Watched by McKegney. Intercepted by Gale. Intercepted the pass. The Soviet defender now what? There he is. Just throws it through the center. You see Danny Gare just moving in the middle. Shot from a good, uh, uh, just a, so you can see a lot of net. But again, I can't understand why Trechak is down on the play from an easy shot or what could have been an easy shot. Oh, and another close call, and Trechak stopped that. Smith is knocked down, and now the penalty will be called. Here's Gare in front. Tried to get it back, and Holomov has it. And we have a Soviet penalty. the Central Red Army and the Buffalo Sabres Super Series 80. Their game, and he said the team is up, and they definitely have been tonight. They led 2-0 in the first period. Now they're on the power play. Here's Danny Gare. Gare at his own line, coming up with Smith and McKegney. Shoots it into the corner, goes in after it. Here's McKegney, back behind the net. Smith is upset. McKegney goes after it to Gare in front of Scott. And that goes wide. Smith bumped with Tretiak. Gare doing a good job of tying up Babinov. Here's Gare rolling it in front. And McKegney couldn't get a shot. The Soviets, Harlamov, coming up with Mihailov. Here's Harlamov in front, getting set it, and Schoenfeld knocked him off stride. Then Schoenfeld is dumped by Starikov. The puck is underneath him. Gare. Four and a half minutes remaining in the third period, and the Sabres lead 4-1. One minute remaining in Petrov's penalty. This is Sean Fowl. In behind the net, bumps with Korab. Tries to get it in front. Gilbert Perrault. Here he goes. Perrault up over the line, takes it into the corner, stops. Back to the line to Korab. Korab, number four, swings it around to Ruff. Back into the corner to Perrault. In front. opportunity tonight. You see Perot controlling the puck in the corner, throwing it into the slot. And that puck again beat Trechak on the short side. We're getting another look at it. Controlled inside the blue line. Into the corner to Perot. He drops it to ceiling in the slot. You see it there, short side above the glove hand of Trechak. But I don't think Trechak has looked very good tonight in a number of plays. He's been down a lot. Puck beating him on the short side there to the glove. Not a very good goaltending at this point. And the time of the goal, 16.01, Sealing from Perot and Ruff. Now at center. Sealing had it again, but he was stopped and both pink off. Up on the right side, the Sabres break that up. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in the game. This is Volchenko. Over to Sportsap, and he backhands it into his own zone to Gamaya. Watch there by Sealing. Gets it ahead to Sportsap. Now he goes back into his own zone. Buffalo leading 5-1. to one. Barnikov at center. Lost the puck to Perrault. Gilbert Perrault waiting for his teammates to get onside. A delayed offside, but it's brought out by the Soviet players. Sportsap into the corner. Colvin ran into Van Foxmere. Now they hold it in the corner as it gets a little physical. With 3-0-4 remaining, let's check with Ron. Reminder that uh, right after tonight's game, those Molson International Awards. It'll be a tough selection for the selectors here at the Buffalo Auditorium. The Molson International Awards coming up to be presented right after tonight's hockey game. Face-off will be in the Buffalo zone. To the left of goaltender Don Edwards, who has been outstanding in goal. There have been several outstanding players. As you mentioned, Ron, boy, you can look at Edwards, Gare, Korab has played a stellar game on defense as well. They all have. Luchenko couldn't control the puck there, goes back into his own zone, chased by Rick Dudley. Zluktov, number 22, brings it up. Had trouble with it, gets it to center. Zluktov up to the Buffalo line. Dropped it there for Makarov. Makarov into the corner and stopped. Kazadinov bumped by Ramsey. And the puck is out to center. 
Two and a half minutes remaining in the game. It's 5-1 Buffalo. This is Balderas, number 19. Balderas, back hands it to McElroy. Intercepted by Ramsey. Ramsey going in. Lukenko ties him up. He got a shot. And Kretschak stopped that. Height ran into the Soviet player Balderas. Back is up to Ramsey, and he backhands it into the central Red Army zone. And the Sabres take that opportunity to change. Now it's Smith trying to get it in front. He's stopped. Balderas outside the line for the Soviets. With Luchenko and Kazadinov. He's running out the clock here with a minute and 51 seconds left in the game. The puck is stolen by Smith. Back to Gare, and he couldn't get a shot. Balderas. Up to Makarov. Makarov coming up with Petrov, who takes the pass. Back to Makarov, fakes a shot, tried to get it in front, and Smith has it underneath him. And we get a whistle with 1.36 left. A minute and 36 seconds left. Petrov against Smith, it comes back to Babinov. His shot, knocked down in front. And Schoenfeld gets it to the line. It stopped there. Harlem off to Petrov. Petrov rolling it in front. Mihailov was tied up and he couldn't get it. Here's Babinov inside his own line. Sends it over to Starikov. Back to Harlem Up to Mihailov. Mihailov into the corner. Schoenfeld gets there first. Trying to get a whistle. And with four players holding it there, we do get a start. Buffalo has outshot the Soviets 14-5. In this third period, and overall, 31-21, the shots on goal favoring Buffalo. 35-year-old Mihailov, he was the most valuable Soviet player in the Challenge Cup. One minute and ten seconds left. Buffalo five, the Central Red Army one. Smith goes off. McKegney is out there. Now the puck comes back to Babinov. Babinov getting set a shot. That's blocked by Savar. McKegney gets it out to center. Gare goes after it. Couldn't catch up to it. And we're into the final minute of the game. This is Starikov. Gare hustles into the corner. Gare goes in behind the Soviet net. Coming out in front. A shot hit the side of the stick of Tretiak. Now another shot by Guerra. That goes wide. 41 seconds left. Mihailov kicks it, but not out. Savard got a shot. That's blocked by Mihailov. Here comes Mihailov. Shoots it into the Buffalo corner. Holomov goes in after it. Valerie Holomov. And he lost control of it with 25 seconds. And the Sabres captain, Danny Guerra, just shot it into the Soviet zone. And now it's shot right back down the ice to Bill Height. 15 seconds remaining, and the fans are getting to their feet. Here's Ruff. He shoots it into the corner. Going in after it is Volchenkov. Five seconds left. Right in front, they score! Ceiling scores to make it 6-1. to one. Richard Martin went in and hustled the puck, got a hold of it. Here we see how loose they are. They just throw it around and they stop skating. They just let Richard Martin have it. He throws it out in front of the ceiling, no problem at all. The goal six to uh, one ahead, but they didn't even try to get the puck. Ceiling from Martin at 1956, and the game is over. And the Sabres off the bench to congratulate goalie Don Edwards. And they get a thunder standing ovation from the 16,000 plus at Memorial No Handshake at Center Ice. That's the final score of the Sabres 6, the Soviet 1. We'll return with the most valuable player awards in a moment. And for the Buffalo Sabres, there is Don Edwards. And there's the scoring story on the game. Danny Gare and Don Luce with that shorthanded goal in the first period to make it 2-0. Balderas with the Soviets' lone goal. And Smith, Gare, and those two goals late in the game by Rick Sealing. This is Super Series 80 on CTV.